Hey everyone, so we're at PAX East 2018. At the A-Data booth, we're checking out something we missed at CES. It's actually advanced a lot since CES, and that's what was known as the Jellyfish Memory. The proper name is Spectrix D80. They also have a Spectrix D41 kit of memory here, which would be the one in the back. So these are both coming out within the next few weeks. They're actually kind of new at the show, pretty rare for PAX. And the D80 memory uses a liquid cooling fluid in the top tube, which I'll be detailing for you momentarily. Before that, this video is brought to you by the EVGA Z10 mechanical keyboard. The EVGA Z10 includes a small display readout top and center, capable of providing hardware monitoring information and EVGA precision statistics. The board ships with either MX Brown or MX Blue switches, offers a column of programmable macro keys, a volume slider, a dimmer, and a detachable wrist rest. Learn more at the link in the description below. So for the Spectrix D80, this is the one that was called Jellyfish at CES 2018. Basically, uh, it's using a normal heat fin or heat, heat fin stack on the outside, uh, thermal pad centrally connecting to the memory modules as usual. That sinks heat upwards and it's hard to see without taking it apart, which hopefully we'll be able to do. We're planning to review these. Without taking it apart, what I can tell you is uh, my understanding is there are a couple of fins in here that are aluminum fins protruding from the heat sink on the outside of the memory module. Those go into the tube of fluid, which is a 3M Novik fluid. So the fluid in the tube has a boiling point of 50 degrees Celsius. As I understand it today, I have pretty limited understanding right now, but once we have it for review, I can talk more about it. As I understand it today, basically the 50 degree boiling point, if you were to trip past that boiling point for the Novik fluid, you would just undergo a normal phase change like you do for a copper heat pipe. So as many of you know, with a copper heat pipe, there's a fluid inside. As the fluid heats up, when it goes through the cold plate, you end up going through a phase change, converts to gas, comes back down by capillary action, turns back into liquid, and so forth. You lose a lot of your heat that way through the phase change process. So for the Spectrix D80 kit, that's looking at about three, four weeks, maybe. It's not final, it could get pushed back, but that's kind of what they're looking at right now for the shipping time. For the speeds, probably about 3000 megahertz for starting, I think as low as 2400, and then higher speed kits may come later as demand warrants. So if you want higher end, let them know. But otherwise we'll be testing this, hopefully thermally, with a couple of thermocouples, see how it actually does, just out of pure interest, because it'd be fun to do an A-B test. You probably don't need the liquid cooling on memory these days. If you're really pushing the clocks high, sure it would help but it's ultimately something that you don't necessarily need but it's kind of cool so we'll play around with it the uh, spectrix d41 is also new that's what's in the back here so this kit kind of has the same face as the other one it just doesn't have the fluid in it it's a standard heat sink not don't really need a lot of heat sinking on memory anymore these days anyway they're kind of low voltage and then uh, leds on the top so this one should be shipping 2400 to 4400 megahertz which is actually quite high Capacities 4 to 16 gigabytes. And I think that's more or less it for the show. There's a new couple of M.2 SSDs as well, NVMe. But we'll talk about those later. So, uh, main ones for A data here, the D41 and the D80. And we'll talk about these more in a couple of weeks once we get review samples. Otherwise, as always, subscribe for more. Go to patreon.com slash gamersnexus. Helps out directly. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.